Welcome back to Foghorn. This one will be split into two parts. Right now, I'll cover the early access Soviet destroyers in 094 and do some extrapolation on updates 095 and 6 based on what we already know. In part B, I'll cover the rest of the patch notes for 094, which will include things like ranked, submarine testing, and changes to consumables. Let's get started. Actually, just a quick note before we start. I'm going to be referring to light and heavy lines or ships. The way the crews are split means that there are 180 millimeter guns in both branches. When I refer to light, I mean the line which leads to Nevsky and Heavy refers to the line which leads to Petropavlovsk. Um, that's how the game treats these ships. I know that's not entirely accurate, so please don't shoot the messenger or leave angry comments. I'm aware that the terms are being used loosely. All on the bowl and kiss he is my darling. All on the bowl. It looks like the Soviet cruiser changes are being made over three updates, 094 to 6. Here's a quick summary. In total, there are five new tech tree ships being added to the Soviet cruiser tree over the next three updates. Kotovsky at tier 5, bringing 152mm guns to replace Kirov's 180s. Tallinn, Riga and Petropavlovsk are being added to the new heavy branch and Nevsky to top the light branch, replacing Mosvar's old position and making the branches consistent with the progression of gun calibers. The new light branch goes from 152mm guns at Chapayev to 180mm guns on Donskoy and Nevsky. The new heavy branch goes from 180mm guns on Tallinn to 220mm guns on Riga and Petropavlovsk. While Nevsky replaces Moskva's old position above Donskoy in terms of gun caliber, Petra Pavlovsk is the replacement for Moskva, so don't get the two confused. Nevsky is the light and Petro is the heavy. Along with the tech tree ships, several premium or special ships are being added to the game or converted from tech tree ships. Kirov will become a tier 5 premium, but she's not quite the same as her tech tree incarnation, as the A and B holes have been amalgamated, meaning she now gets a spotter plane as standard. Mikoyan, also having 180mm guns, will be added as a premium also at tier 5. Ochakov, a 152mm cruiser, and Bagratian, a 180mm cruiser, will be added as tier 8 premiums, representing the light and heavy lines respectively. So that's a summary of everything that's happening over the next three updates, 094, 5 and 6. Let's take a look at each update in turn. There's a bit of guesswork from me on 095 and 6, so please do listen carefully. First of all, let's look at what's coming in update 094, which hits CIS and NA on Wednesday this week, and EU and C on Thursday. Five ships are being added in this update, Mikoyan, Ochakov, Bagratian, Tallinn and Riga. Tallinn and Riga are tech tree ships from the new heavy line and are being added in the usual early access model, so there'll be special ships for the next two updates, usually it's one update. They'll be available to research normally from the start of 096 in two months time. Tallinn and Riga will be available via sequential bundles in the Armoury, which can be purchased with Soviet tokens. The order and cost of these bundles is predetermined. The order is Mikoyan for 300, Soviet Camo for Tallinn for 400, Tallinn for 500, Soviet Camo for Riga for 500, Riga for 550, and Soviet camo for Petropavlovsk from 600, a total of 2,850 tokens. Mikoyan will be compensated with doubloons if you already have it in port, which I assume means she'll be available for cash on the first day of 094. How do you get tokens? From Soviet containers, and also combat missions uh, for the new premiums if you buy them, and from pre-rolled doubloon bundles. 
The containers are rewarded for completing directives during 094, where you can earn up to 54 containers, and from daily login drops, which will give you an additional 6 for a total of 60 containers. Containers can give 5, 10, 15, 25 or 300 tokens each. Thus, the minimum number of tokens you can get, if you get all the crates, but have really bad luck, is 300, which is enough to get you Makoyan for free. However, you're likely to have better luck, so hopefully you'll be able to get at least one of Tallinn and Riga if you complete the directives. This is the Soviet camo you can get from the bundles for Tallinn, Riga and Petropavlovsk. I mentioned combat missions for tokens earlier. There will be missions with token rewards of 15 to 30 tokens for victories using Mikoyan, Ochakov and Bagratian. The latter two ships will be available from the armory for doubloons during 094. If you need a top up on your tokens, you can also purchase pre rolled bundles containing between 5 and 700 tokens from the armory for 500 doubloons each. Let's talk a little now about 095 and 6. 5 first. 095 will likely arrive four weeks after 094, that's around the 10th uh, or the 11th of June. The notes released this week say that Petra Pavlovsk will be available to research in 096. This means that it might be available for early access in 095, but my guess is not. We know that Mosfa and Kirov are due to change to special and premium status respectively in 095, so I think it's reasonable that, to guess that Nevsky, the other new Tech Tree Tier 10, will be available either fully released or under early access in 095, alongside the transformed Kirov and Mosfa. The advice for Kirov and Mosfa still stands. If you want them for free in 095, make sure you have had both researched at some point in the past on your account before 095 hits. You do not have to have the ships in port or have them currently researched, so you are free to reset the Soviet cruiser line if you want to. You should also sell your Kirov and Mosfa just before update 095, as then you will get the credits for selling them and receive the new versions for free. Note that the premium camo for Mosfar will not be compensated for, so I advise not buying it if you haven't already, as the special version will come with a premium camo. And finally, 096. If the update arrives four weeks after 095, that will mean it hits around the 8th and 9th of July. The notes released this week state that the heavy line will be available to research, i.e. become a proper tech tree line in 096. Whether this also applies to the light line, we simply don't know, but given that Mosfar goes special in 095, and so probably Nevsky is released at the same time, I think it's a good guess that both lines will be available by the beginning of 096, although it's possible the light line will be available fully in 095. Let me reiterate, the information I've just discussed for 095 and 6 is mostly guesswork on my part, so please quote me carefully. That's it from part A of this 094 update. Part B will cover the rest of 094 and I'll link to it from the description when it's available. Please do subscribe for more and ring the bell if you want to be notified when I upload more videos. You can also catch me over on Twitch several times a week at twitch.tv slash statsbloke. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon.